welcome back, my fairies. I am Matsuya Rific, and it is here, the trailer for Awakening. We finally get the trailer, oh my goodness. And it is 22 minutes long. So I'm going to try not to ramble on like I normally do, and let's just get into this trailer, because uh, oh wait, no, I said 22 minutes. It's it's not 22 minutes. Oh my goodness, that's a full episode. No, it's 2 minutes, 22 seconds long. So let's just go ahead and get into this trailer. Ooh, we get the original miracle box. Hey, hold up. There's no symbol on the miracle box here. That's interesting. Oh, and we get Seamaster Foo. Oh, and, and Cat Noir's ring. Oh, I love the glow effect on the ring, too. Ah, uh, Adrian! Ooh! Oh, 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 Natalie! Oh, we get to see Natalie! So, we get to... Oh, I wish she was turned around, though, so we could see her from the front. Ooh! This is interesting. Her bun is different. So, in the show, she's got a normal bun, but in this one, she's got a swirl bun. This implies that her hair is, like, really long. That's interesting. Oh, my goodness. The double doors like this, and oh, Gabriel! Gabriel stepping out of the house. What? Who are you, and what have you done with season one, Gabriel Agrest? Also, oh my goodness, this car. There's seats facing the back. What? I'm guessing this is another self-driving car uh, from Tomoe's company. Like, can we get these cars in real life, please? Uh, but Gabriel is actually step is actually out of the house. Hello. Ooh, I think this is the, the library scene with Marinette and Adrian. Yep. Oh, girl, don't spy on him. Don't, don't spy on him, girl. Oh, and we've seen this. Okay, we've seen this image. This was from the first look we got at Alia. And, ah, oh, I hate what they did to her hair. I really do. The dye in her hair seems a lot more subtle, and her hair has no body to it at all. I think it's shorter, too. Because her hair usually comes down to right about here, but it's it's shoulder length now. I don't like that they shortened it, and there's so little volume to it, too. Like, girl, who whitened your hair? <laughs> like, who gave you this white girl hair? Come on, girl. Ah, uh, like, what happened to all her texture and body? Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. So Adrian actually spots her behind the bookshelf and is like, hi. <laughs> of course, she's going to fall backwards. You know it. Uh, and oh gosh, and Alia's doing more teasing. And Marinette being clumsy. We've seen that before. And then her, her foot actually goes backwards. So, so she's tripping herself here. Uh, oh, yeah, that's... Oh, that's embarrassing. And just Adrian being Adrian. Ooh, ooh, hello. Okay, so we can tell from the sleeves that this is obviously Natalie with the with the butterfly miraculous. Uh, it looks like they're where are they at? It looks like they're at some sort of storage in a storage facility in a museum because they got these giant statues here. And we see Natalie and Gabriel right here by this table. Oh, it's so nice to not see Gabriel in that all-white suit. Uh, ooh, Nuru! Wait, it looks like- he looks confused here, so like... Is, is this his first time finding the Miraculous? Because if so, then what about Emily? Because like... We know that- we, we know from context clues that Emily got sick from using the broken Peacock Miraculous, and that's why she's dead at the start of the show. But this looks like he's just now finding the Butterfly Miraculous. We know from Rise of the Sphinx that they had the Miraculous before that, and uh, before before Origin, the Origin special, and we know from Season 5 that they found the Miraculous a long time ago. So, that's interesting. Ooh. Okay, so it looks like we got a magic circle here, and this looks like the symbol that's supposed to be on the Miracle Box that wasn't there for some reason. And it looks like she's reaching under and... Okay, so she's grabbing the earrings from underneath the table there. And... <gasps> Yay! Plague! So Adrian's already met Plague. Oh, it looks like Adrian's wearing a... 
watch too. I've noticed before in screenshots that Marinette is wearing a watch. You can see it right here. But it looks like Adrian is also wearing a watch when he draws back the curtains. Yeah, right there. And we got this uh, purple lightning. Uh, so that's obviously Hawk Moth causing trouble. I have to be, I have to make sure to say Hawk Moth instead of Shadow Moth or Monarch. <laughs> uh, and we get, it looks like they're getting new background characters too. I don't recognize any of these guys from the show. So yeah, because we, we always get the same reoccurring background characters. Ooh, and now we got this cave setting too. Like this kind of gives me Shanghai vibes, like where they found the prodigious, but it's also clearly not the same cave. So, hold up, okay. Did he like have to bring the, the, the box here to be able to transform? Cause, okay, so now he's transforming. This looks like a first transformation sequence. Uh, so that, that's interesting. Oh my goodness, that, that hair bounce on her bangs. It's like, oh my goodness, that hair bounce. That's great. And now I will say that I do like Chloe's hair in this. I do wish they had given Molly's hair more attention and more detail, but I do like the changes made to Chloe's hair. I think it's very pretty. Uh... Oh my goodness, she just exudes mini Karen here. <laughs> oh, I love the I love the postures too. Like Chloe's got, Chloe, you got she's got the sass in every way that she moves, and Sabrina's all hunched over. She's got her hands cupped in front of her to to showcase that she's all shy. The body language is very good. Uh, and then Marinette's being like, "Ah, oh, maybe later, Chloe." It's like, and then she's running away. Oh, oh, Luca. Luca, Rose, and Ivan. Yes. Oh, and she. <laughs> Rose is like, oh my goodness, are you all right, Marinette? Hold up. Where are Luca's gauges? Where are his rings? Like, what happened to this man's jewelry? What? What? Why? Why did they change Luca? Why did they change Luca? Oh, we got Julica and Mark here too. Is Julica's hair shorter? Her hair looks shorter in this. I mean, like, significantly sh shorter. Okay, and now we got Hawk Moth walking in to... Looks like a dungeon here. Like, did he just walk in... Did he just walk straight into the dungeon from the upcoming Mario movie? My goodness. Uh, there's even, like, hanging cages? Like, what is going on here? And, and then he's doing this evil laugh. Oh, hold up. Whoa. What is with all these villains? Did he akumatize all of these people at once? How did he akumatize all these people at once? What? He shouldn't be able to do that. He should only have be able to make one Akuma. And then Marinette... Uh, okay, so we've seen this before. This is after she loses Chloe because Chloe was chasing her. Uh, and she just falls into the antique shop. So that's how she finds the miraculous. Uh, and then we get... Okay, this is interesting too, but let's, uh, so we get Hawkmoth over here with all these Akumas flying around in this purple lightning and smoke. That's interesting. We've seen him make the, the giant cloud of butterflies with his face before, but this still looks, still seems like he's making a bunch of Akumas all at once, which is interesting. And then it looks like we're getting... Uh, I'm guessing this is like supposed to be a supervillain is attacking. I'm guessing this is supposed to be City Hall. I think this is City Hall. Uh, and the police are here, but they obviously can't do anything against the supervillain. And it looks like we got a ladybug here that's leading Marinette around. Ooh, ooh, Tiki! Tiki! Ah, oh, we get to see Tiki! And so Marinette beats Tiki. That's awesome. And then she, okay, so then we get to see her transform. We've seen this clip before of her realizing that she's wearing this magical suit and everything. It's like, ah! And then she just screams. Okay. Oh my goodness. That was not sure what that was, but uh, yeah, we got two villains here. So we get Lamine, who looks closer to his uh, PV counterpart than the show counterpart. Because in the show, he's skinny. Just He has the same build as Milan's dad, who gets akumatized into him. But then in the, when we see him in the PV, 
Uh, he looks all bulky like this, and it looks like we're getting another character, too, who's related to him. This might be his boss, just judging based on the hairstyle. So I guess they get akumatized at the same time. And then she's like, oh, hello, Magic Yo-Yo. <laughs> and apparently the Yo-Yo has a mind of its own in the movie. I don't know if this is going to be just for this one scene or what, but, uh, yeah, it looks like it's definitely taking her somewhere. Oh, there's Cat Noir. <gasps> Notre Dame! Oh, we get to go to Notre Dame. We've never been to Notre Dame in the show. The only, the closest we've been is we fight Were Dad outside of the Notre Dame in Rise of the Sphinx, but we didn't actually get to go inside of it. Oh. Oh my goodness. And we have pigeons. Oh gosh. Beware, Mr. Beware, Mr. Pigeon. That would be a lot of villains in this movie if Mr. Pigeon is in here too. And Cat Noir looking all smug and confident. And it looks like he's about to walk into something. This ladybug sees something he doesn't. And oh! 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 Okay. Okay, I'm getting flashbacks to another show. I don't remember which show it is. I know that it's an older show where, like, somebody's uh, sword winds, or a rapier gets stuck in a monster's nose and like when they pull it out it's all covered in snot and stuff and that's like really gross uh oh and it's moving it is moving yeah run away <laughs> run away yes uh okay so we get this flying gargle i think we've actually seen it before though uh can we stop can we not wreck the cathedral please and okay so okay okay i know we've seen this before because Oh my goodness, and yeah, he can't breathe. Ah, uh, he doesn't have the aqua power up. Yeah, we've seen this before because he's going to lift his thumb out of the water and do a thumbs up, or hand out of the water, and gives her thumbs up. Like, Cat are you all right? Yeah, <laughs> thumbs up. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so it looks like we're getting this lady again, the ringmaster. She really does look like, uh, I forget his name, uh, Milan's dad's boss. But, uh, pretty sure she was actually a thicker girl, so, like, did they skinify her? Like, please don't do that. Uh, so we got living... Hold up. Uh, was that... Yeah, those are living, uh, <laughs> animal... Oh, balloons. Balloon animals. So we got living balloon animals attacking this person. I can't imagine how much damage can be done with balloon animals, but okay. And it looks like we've got a living croissant here. I'm guessing that's the ringleader's power. She can bring stuff to life. And then just goes on a rampage. And just a giant balloon person. Okay. Oh, it looks like an octopus creature of some kind. And, it, and this looks to be Marinette, not Ladybug. She's got the, her black jacket on. And... Oh, it looks like they're doing a maneuver. Ooh! Ooh, hold up, hold up. I need to see that animation again. That had weight to it. That has actual weight to it. The way his body moves around to be like, uh, or swivels around to shift his weight into helping him throw her. And the way that she uh, puts her foot on his leg there to help bo to help boost the, th the toss. Okay, I, I, I like that animation there. Adding all that weight there. And Ladybug's fighting pose looks super awkward. Uh, and... Oh, and they're talking together. Uh, I'm guessing they're saying pound it and do it in the actual pound it. Yes. Oh, we love it. Ooh. Okay, this is another new villain. But it looks like his power is similar to the bubbler. Like, could this be the bubbler just with a different design? Because, like, that's the only villain I can think of that puts people in bubbles like this. And then we get the mime again, attacking Ladybug. Oh, and... Okay, hello, what's this? Uh, so looks like something... So looks like he shatters something with his cane. And then we get Cat Noir fighting the mime. Oh, Ow! Ow! He's bending his wrist backwards and it's like, ow! Oh, and you can see the pain on his face? Ow! Oh, don't do that to- Don't do that to my son! Don't- Don't you dare hurt my son! Oh my gosh. And then Ladybug running up walls and stuff. And then Chat Noir, like, 
Wait, did he just toss his stick in the air just to grab it? Yeah, he just tosses it in the air to grab it. Like, was that really necessary? Adrian, honey, was that really necessary? Then we could see them swinging along on Ladybug's yo-yo. Ooh, looks like the Ferris wheel is out of control. Ha, <laughs> Chloe and Sabrina are on the Ferris wheel. Oh, and Cat Noir's going, doing a face, smacking face first into the glass. Ooh, that had to hurt. <laughs> they startle Sabrina and Chloe. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and Chloe's like, protect me, Sabrina. Wait, no, don't hurt me. Hurt Sabrina. Oh, she's such a brat. <laughs> and, then Mer and Ladybugs is like, oh, Cat Noir. Oh, and we get an explosion. I'm guessing that explosion is first. Oh, okay. So this is clearly him falling on her. Before anyone says anything, he's clearly falling on her and not pushing her up against the wall like Kagami did in season four. I, yeah, but this looks this looks accidental. So I'm letting this pass. It's like he obviously would not just push Ladybug up against the wall like that. That's not Adrian. That's he's he's more respectful than that. Uh, and I'm guess okay that lovey dovey look on his face. I'm guess I'm assuming he's saying I'm in, I love that girl. This classic line from Origins, and we we've seen that before. Her taking his hand. And it looks like this is the musical mo the musical sequence. And ooh, ooh, look at all the strands in her hair going everywhere. Yes, yes, they animated the wind. They animated the wind in her hair. She's got the wind in her hair. Oh, and look at all the debris flying everywhere too. We can see embers and trash and all this cloud, all these all this dust clouds. And she looks like she's upset about whatever's going on here. So clearly, oh gosh, another explosion. Like seriously, what is with all the explosions in this movie? Are they trying to be like, hey, boys, boys can watch this too. There's stuff in here for boys. Like, obviously there's stuff in here for boys too. Like there's stuff in here for everybody. But like, are they trying to be like, oh no, we're a traditional superhero show. Look at all these explosions. See, we're for boys. But obviously the show is like aimed at a female audience, but hopefully they keep in mind that it's being, for, that it's, you know, making it for everybody. Uh, and we've got Cat Noir catapulting him, <laughs> catapulting. We got Cat Noir catapulting himself up the Eiffel Tower. Another explosion, like dang. So what is with all the explosions? What's the villain, like who's the villain causing all these explosions? And then we got this electricity going and causing a storm. Okay, I'm guessing that's the haunted house. And we got another storm here, which gets Marinette's attention. So this still looks like it's on her balcony. So did she take off her earrings saying that she doesn't want to be Ladybug anymore? And then obviously being like, no, I have to do this. Uh, so got Tom and Sabine got, got a cake. Also, looks like this is a... Hold up, is this a Volkswagen? No. Is that a Volkswagen symbol? That looks like a Volkswagen symbol. Okay, and this is an interesting shape for the steering wheel too. Uh, so we get Tom and Sabine. Oh, this looks great. Uh, they, they look great. It looks like this is a smart car too. Cause it's like alerting them that they're about to crash cause Ladybug's about to crash into them. Yeah, this looks like the Volkswagen logo. Like I don't know much about cars. If someone in the chat knows more about cars than me, definitely let me know if I'm wrong about this being a Volkswagen, but that looks like the symbol for a Volkswagen. And then Ladybug just barely misses hitting her parents. Also, what is this here? It looks like they've got a table inside of the car, which also looks to be a two-seater. That's odd. I'm guessing, like, if I'm assuming that the seats are put down. Also, I do like this extra detail of, the, of Tom had to push his seat back because he's a bigger guy. Uh, yeah, and they're like, oh, wh who is that? What is that? And Merida's like, oh, sorry, Mom and Dad. Oh, boy. Okay, and yeah, she's still getting a hang of her powers, obviously. 
and more of them at the at the carnival. Oh, and they're there with Adrian. Yay! Uh, oh, and Marinette's being all shy. Oh, Tiki! <laughs> she pushing Marinette's hand closer? She is! Oh my gosh, Tiki! You... Oh, oops, I accidentally pressed uh, the three button. That pushed me back. Uh, Tiki, you little sneak. So, where was I? Okay, we're right here. Oh, Marinette being cute. Uh, oh, Tiki! <laughs> you cheeky little thing, you. And then they're both like, uh, what? Oh my goodness. It's like, eh, yeah. Uh, oh, okay, so is that it? Oh, no, there we go, okay. So, there's one last image of Marinette walking in. I'm guessing this is, this doesn't look like the school. There's a gate out front. So, are they not having the dance at their school then? That's interesting. And, ooh, and then we get to see the inside, and we get to see Marinette's dress. Oh, she's so pretty. Uh, so compared to some of these other guys, she looks fine, but, like, it looks like Rose and Julica are underdressed for this. <laughs> like, their dresses look a bit more casual, uh, which is interesting. Also, oh my goodness, we're, we're seeing Julica's shoulders. Also, yeah, it looks like her hair is the norm the right length, so I don't know why her hair looked so short before. Maybe it's just the way that she was sitting and slouched over. But yeah, that was it. That was the trailer for Miraculous Ladybug and Cat Noir Awakening. Oh my goodness gracious. This is already 20 minutes long, so I'm going to try to wrap this up here. Oh my goodness. We're just a few months away from getting this movie, and we still haven't, don't have an English date yet for when it's going to be in theaters. Which is, like, really frustrating, because, like, most countries, it's gonna be in June, which is two months away. We're two months away from launch, and we still don't know when it's gonna air in America. Like, come on, please. My friend Dem gets to, well, if he was going to go watch it in theaters, he's already said he's not going to, but Dem gets to watch it before we do. He's in Germany, he gets to watch it on the 4th of June. Ah! And most have, most places have it uh, airing uh, coming out on the sixth, but it's it's, in, it's coming out on the fourth in <laughs> Germany. So it's like ah, but why can't we get a release date for the for the states, please, please? Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more videos from me. We do all sorts of fun stuff on this channel, including playing video games, we do art, and also sometimes talk about cartoons and anime. So if you enjoy this stuff, then be sure to ring that bell icon and never miss a video. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I hope you all have a very magical day.